So here is what I have. Mostly everything is gathered from outside. So I got like some twigs. I also gathered, yeah, leaves. And some plants. And pine cones and rocks. Hi guys, welcome back to the Bubbly Pets channel. I'm Isla and today I'm gonna be walking you guys through how to set up an insect terrarium. So let's get started. Okay guys, so here's what I have so far. So here is a used 5.5 gallon tank that I was able to buy at my local fish store. The, the bottom of the tank, actually the rim part was falling off so I did have to silicone that to fix it and so that it would stay. But other than that, it's good. And I, also I have a lid that goes with the tank. It fits. So that will be in the end. Now I'm going to show you guys the supplies I have to put into the tank. So here is what I have. Mostly everything is gathered from outside. Um, so I got like some twigs. I'm gonna take those out. I put those in last because those are like for decoration purposes for the most part. I also gathered, yeah, leaves and some plants and pine cones and rocks. So first I'm going to start with the soil, which is all the way at the bottom here. So let me take out all this stuff that I'm not gonna put in just yet. Okay, so I'm going to start by just like placing the plants in there so that I can start putting soil around them. So I've got a dandelion plant and two other ones that I have no idea what they are. And see, I'm gonna put that one like probably over there. So now I'm gonna start shoveling the dirt in. The dirt is a mixture of like mulch and like dried pine needles. There are some other bugs in the dirt too that I collected, but that's okay. Cause I do want this to be a bioactive tank. So we're going to make sure that I put the dirt in evenly along the bottom. I'm going to have to make sure that the roots are completely covered of these plants. So that's all the dirt I have. So now I'm just going to be like moving it into the places I want it to be, especially to support the plants I put in and then making sure that I didn't bury the leaves of the plants. Okay. I'm just patting the dirt, just like around the plants, just make sure it's firm and that it will stay. This plant's droopy. Okay, now I'm going to put in my rocks and like my other accessories. So I'm just gonna place them wherever I think looks good. Okay, I'm done setting up the tank. I think it looks okay. So now I'm going to introduce the insects that I made this terrarium for. In here are black tiger hissing cockroaches. You can see that they're completely black, which is different from the normal variety, which has like brown and some black. I was able to find some of these in my roach colony actually. And I had never seen one before and I was cleaning their tank and I found one I was like, huh. So then I decided to collect them. And then over time I started seeing some more. So I've got four of them here. So I'm gonna start putting them in. This is just some celery. I'm just gonna put it in here. They can eat it, it'll be fine. Here is my cat, Maddie. Uh, she likes to look at the cockroaches, so she's staring very intently at them. So there's all of them in the tank. And now since these are Madagascar hissing cockroaches, and there are live plants that I planted in here, I will need to provide some lighting for the tank. So let's put the lid on. Now the enclosure is all fully set up. And if you see that there's like dirt stains on the glass on the inside, or like anything like that looks dirty, you can wipe that down with a damp cloth like once a week if it needs to, and that'll remove it. So like see, there might be like some dirt on the sides or like even water stains. You can just wipe those down with a cloth and that should take care of it. Also, the plants need water and so do the insects. So you may need to regularly mist this tank. So just go based off of how dry the soil seems. You always want it to be like a nice dampness 
because the plants need the water for food. There are a variety of like native insects in the dirt and they can like live off of like eating the leaves and stuff in here. But eventually if you're not gonna like constantly collect like dead plants or leaves and put them in here, then you do want to provide them with fruits and vegetables. So maybe once a week, depending on how fast they eat it, you can give them a few slices of those. If you're worried about them climbing out of the tank, that shouldn't be an issue because the screen lid fully covers it and these individuals are large enough to not squeeze through. But if they do have big babies in the future, then that may be a problem. So you may have to spread Vaseline at least an inch thick all around the top sides of the glass on the inside, and that should prevent them from climbing out. You may need to redo the Vaseline once a week or so, just in case it melts or slides down the glass. The other insects in the dirt are unlikely to climb out, so you should not have to worry about them. If you guys are interested or would like to know how I set up my hissing cockroach breeding colony, then I'll provide a link down below to watch my other video on that. That's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed my video and learned something. Please leave a like on the video and subscribe. Also turn on that notification bell so you won't miss any future uploads about animal care. I enjoy and like all of the support you guys give me. Thank you. See you all next time. Bye. Beep, beep, beep. How to set up a insect to uh <laughs> <laughs> I missed it. Beep, beep, beep.